Hi there! Today I'm going to show you how to report bugs in Blender. Now I'm posting this tutorial for two reasons. Well, uh, first off, um, the Blender.org and website and the developer.blender.org site has been updated with new features and new interface navigation. And I'm making this video to help you stay updated with the current um, bug reporting process um, today. And also, I'm also posting this tutorial to help other people uh, how about other people? Because reporting bugs, uh, b because um, even though Blender is free, it is not bug free, pretty much. And in saying that, uh, you c while working in Blender, any version, whether it's a build or the official release, you may run come across a bug eventually while you're working in Blender. And and eventually, when you get a bug, you're probably sitting there thinking you don't thinking you don't know what to do, who to talk to. Uh, so you're pretty much stuck there in your seat, wondering how do I get this fixed? Well, it's pretty simple to actually uh, fix bugs in Blender. Oh, well, basically, all you need to do is just basically report it to uh, uh, developers uh, who are working with the Blender Foundation or some current uh, which or whole community of developers that actually help improve Blender's uh, um, RNA capabilities, and you can, and, so yeah, basically if you report bugs, another thing, if you report bugs, you basically help out the Blender community. Reporting bugs is pretty much one of the biggest problems, and if you report a bug to the Blender Foundation, they can make sure it gets fixed before the next release. So, basically, the point is, if you find a bug, make sure it gets reported um, as soon as possible. Um, and... So, yeah, that's pretty much uh, how important bug reporting is in Blender because you have no idea um, whether or not this bug may stay um, in the next release unreported to the Blender Foundation. And if no one finds out about it, it'll probably never get fixed, especially in the next release. So that's basically what, we're gonna, what I'm going to talk about in this tutorial, reporting bugs in Blender. What I'm going to do is I'm basically going to go through the whole process of reporting bugs um, and I'll also give you some tips about what you should send to the developers, what you should include in the files, and, yeah, help you get going on bug reporting in Blender. Now, um, th um, now, I think, um, for this tutorial, I think for this tutorial, I'm gonna be gonna try and use something that kind of looks like a bug, um, in, uh, that kind of looks like a bug on my interface, but, Sometimes now this may happen. Sometimes when you report a bug, it'll probably it probably won't be a bug. And first time when you report bugs, first the bug that you may first report maybe not be a bug at all. It'll probably just be some I don't know. Probably it'll probably just be some uh some I don't know. Probably well you get the point. Uh pretty much it pro you probably look at it and you'll probably go like it looks like a bug when probably it may look like it but it's probably not a bug. So that's probably one of the first things that you'll learn is that your first bug report may not be a bug at all. So that's just something you should learn a little down the road because I know because I reported a bug once and I realized it wasn't a bug at all. It was just something about my system. <laughs> so anyway, a little info there. Um, is that probably your first bug reports probably may not be bug reports at all. So anyway, in saying that, let's just get started. <laughs> so we're going to be using uh, this example for this tutorial. So say, for example, you're working in Blender, whether it's a build or official release, and say, for example, you're starting out in a scene right here, and, oh, sorry, let me just turn on the screencast keys real quick. Forgot to do that. <laughs> okay, hang on a sec. Okay, so say for example, uh, you're working in Blender, and basically, while you're working, you pretty much come across a pretty much come. You're pretty much working, and you real and you want to use don't you don't want to use the default cube. So you hit delete, and huh, this info notice shows up and slowly disappears. Now, normally, if I were to delete this, it would be a notification bar right here. Um, and, and same go thing goes with the lamp, there should be a notification bar and not this, okay? Now, however, when I'm, uh, in edit mode, pretty much, if I like to say, uh, I don't know, uh, if, let's say I'm working, um, in edit mode and I like to say, I don't know, probably delete 
a uh, couple of these faces right here. And however, if I hit delete, this uh, delete notification pops up like in the original releases, telling me if I want to delete vertices, edges, faces, etc., etc. Now, that is kind of weird, pretty much to me, because normally I would like to. S uh, uh, <clears throat> Sorry, let me rephrase. There should be a notification bar or to let you confirm your deletion because, um, because basically, um, at some point, uh, you probably want to confirm that deletion just to double check, just to be sure. Because, uh, well, yeah, you pretty much want to do it before you think, oh man, I wish I didn't delete that. Uh, this only this probably this doesn't go with uh. Uh, in the 3D view, this also goes with the video sequence editor and adding markers. So, say for example, I add a marker to this uh, video clip right here, which I added in, which I uh, recorded myself for this uh, tutorial, and and I add in a marker right here, and and then I track it, and then for and then, whoops, and then let me set the end. Let me set the end frame here real quick, my bad. And say, for example, I really don't like uh, the the track and I want to delete it. But when I hit delete, um, same happens. Doesn't get a notification. Uh, and then let me a confirmation if I want to delete the bug. I mean, d delete the marker. Instead, it just pops up this message. Also goes the same thing with a timeline where I can add markers. If I hit M, I can add a marker right here. I can move them around and I can even delete them just by hitting X. And this notification pops up telling me if I want to delete it. And the same goes also with the video sequence editor. And if I add in a scene, if I realize I want to delete that strip, if I hit delete, it'll give me this confirmation notification right here. Now, I know that this, this probably won't be a bug, but it it's not really meant to be uh, a good bug report in this tutorial. This is probably give you an idea uh, of reporting bugs. So, you think you found the bug. Um, now, before you start reporting it, it's a good idea to make sure you always test it uh, just to be sure it really, really is a bug on certain builds, on different uh, versions, and especially official releases. So, here's which... Um, um, also, it's a really good idea to actually uh, test it out in a, the most simplest Blender file that you can get. In the very the most very simple Blender file, which is um, the factory settings that are preloaded in the Blender. So to actually um, load in the factory settings uh, or the original scene right here, just go to File, Load Factory Settings. So now, since you're loading the factory settings, you'll make sh that'll tell you that the, um, that there's nothing uh, like uh, there's weird shortcuts. Um, I don't know, probably. There's weird, anything weird going on right here, anything kind of awkward that you've done, or anything that really doesn't comply. It's just, well, yeah, pretty much uh, it's just the basic cube right here. So first off, what we need to do, so we select the cube right here, we hit delete, and this pops up right here, no confirmation. And now I'm going to test it now. If we just, now let's see how it works in edit mode right here. So if I go over here, let's hit subdivide right here. And so if we go through these one at a time, if we hit delete, we can see that we can get a confirmation pop up. Now this work now this ha bug happens in the 3D view. So uh, just to be sure, again, now we'll try this out in the motion tracker since I realized that there's a bug there. And I'm just gonna open a clip that I uh record that I that we just used earlier all right now let's set the end frame to 193 since uh, that's the uh, current uh, the number of frames that uh, this video has and let's load it into the uh, clip editor and once again we're gonna add we're basically gonna add a marker and we're gonna see if we can if when we delete it we uh, actually uh, uh, um, you know, have the same bug occur again. So basically, what we do is we basically add in a marker, and you do, and if we want to, just be sure that the tracker is working. We can, uh, you know, track it. Same thing, and 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 at any point, if we want to delete it, we'll just uh, 
if at any point if we want to delete this marker, we just hit delete, and of course it doesn't pop up in the movie clip editor, but it appears in the toolbar right here. So, now, remember, oh, I forgot to mention, this isn't the official release. This is actually a build of uh, the release. So, this is actually um, Blender version, a build of Blender 2.69 hashtag 41E70CF. Now, it's fine if we just test it there, but it's better if we actually test this out in a more, uh, I don't know, probably like an official release of Blender. So, next thing, after you, after I test the bug, I always test it out, uh, test the bug in the build, I always test it out in the release. So, I'm gonna open up Blender 2.69 real quick. Okay, here it is, Blender 2.69, and we'll select the cube, delete it, and the confirmation appears, so we can pretty much delete it. And same goes if I go into edit mode, even though uh, we know it pretty much works, but we'll do it anyway. And we'll go through right here, we'll select some faces, we'll delete them, and confirm. Oops, I meant to say delete faces, my bad. Okay, so, we know that the, uh, it, it worked, that the delete confirmation in object mode, um, uh, works here. Now let's see if it, it does the same, if it does the same thing in the sequence, in the movie clip editor. My fault. Anyway. We, uh, so we'll set the end frame to, uh, 193, we'll, um, basically load it into the RAM, real quick. And, and of course, we just, to test it out, we just added a marker. So, we'll hit escape, we'll find a certain spot right here, we'll place in a marker, about right here, we'll probably scale, oops, uh, hang on, uh, we'll scale it up, just slightly. Probably, and we'll then track it real quick, and then we'll then we'll go back and we'll and if we want to then we'll delete it, and I can see the confirmation is right there. So it works in uh the, the Blender um build version two point six nine point seven. It does it it so it doesn't work in this in version two point six nine point seven build, but it does work in. But uh, it does work in the official release. So, what do you do next? Well, what you need to do is, uh, what I recommend you do is you actually set up some files. Like, um, well, one of the main things you should actually set up in the files are basically simple blend files and also, um, and also, uh, you know, screenshots. My bad. Sorry. Uh, sorry about that. And also, if you can actually give information about your system, to, because maybe bugs could, maybe the bug that's happening, brother, can be because in Blender can pretty much be be because of your system, whether it's a graphics card or CPU or GPU, or whatever. It's always a good idea to make sure it, uh, the bug is repeatable on all systems. Okay. So anyway, here's what you do. Uh, well, here's the stuff that I do first. Uh, so, first off, uh, what I like to do is I like to, uh, actually take some screenshots of, uh, of, um, the, uh, you know, of, you know, the basic bug, pretty much, just to point out how it pretty much basically work, uh, if, how the bug, uh, you know, just to tell the, uh, developers that it's actually working. Uh, sorry about, uh, Mm, about so much, uh, sorry about, uh, uh, yeah, sorry about my English at the moment. Uh, oh yeah, I almost forgot. Make sure you always keep the file as simple as possible, uh, when you're sending blend files, uh, which we'll get, and we'll get to that in a minute. Alright, so, first off, I want to take a screenshot of, uh, the bug happening, and I do that with a couple of programs. I use, in this case, uh, GreenShot and Free Screen Recorder. Greenshot is a free screen capture system that uh, that is released un under the GUNU public license. I'll actually put a link for you to download this. And free screen rec video recorder is not only a video screen recorder, but it's also a screenshot tool. And it's also, and basically, it's part of the uh, free uh, DVD video soft free studio suite. 
and I will provide a link to actually have you check it out. But usually I like to use free video screen recorder to take some of the screenshots, and I use green shot to take full screenshots. So I use both of these, they're both pretty good, I'll leave links to them. But for right now, we'll uh, use green shot right here. And so basically what we do is we right click in the toolbar, we launch it, and what, we, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select capture full screen right here. Anyway, so we capture, we select capture full screen. And yeah, so you'll see right here that the screenshot has been taken and it's now in this image and it's now in the green shot image editor right here. So anyway, we have the screenshot right here. Now if you want to, you could use, if you want to edit this photo just a little bit, there are some editing tools on the right, but I don't think, uh, I don't think I want to edit this right now. So, oh, anyway, I forgot, I'm sorry, I may have, uh, actually, uh, hang on, I'm sorry, I may have screwed this up. Now, there's some time, there may be some cases where you can screw up, so, actually, I'm gonna restart, uh, the screenshot, because I think I made a little mistake, but that's just me, don't worry, don't be worried, you probably won't care, but I'm me. So, anyway, we, uh, take a screenshot again, capture full screen. And, yeah, there we go. So, anyway, once your screenshot has been taken, what you do is you go to File, uh, Save As, Displaying Dialog, and you basically save it to wherever you want. So basically where I save it is in a folder on my desktop right now uh, that actually has some other screenshots that I took. So, we're gonna call it, we're gonna save it as a PNG, and we'll call this, uh, I don't know, you could call this whatever you want. Uh, let's, uh, uh, do, uh, just call it whatever you want, I don't know. Alright, so, that looks fine, we'll hit save, and we'll also take some more screenshots with, uh, not green shot, but we'll also, we'll take some with, a uh, free, uh, screen video recorder, which is also a screenshot tool. So, what I want to do is I want to take a screenshot of, of, the queue being deleted, and I also want to take a screenshot of, um, this, uh, the info bar up here. So what I do is I, what I usually do is I set my, uh, video screen recorder in front of the cube, and I basically select the blender window, which doesn't hide this to the tray right, the system tray right here, and what I do is I then, um, well, I move this up here, because, just in case I want to take a, the screenshot from up here, so basically, what I do is I select the Blender window, and I hit, then hit Delete, then I click Capture Screen Region, then I basically drag my cursor around the area that I want to capture. So hopefully I'm going to set my cursor right here, and I right here. Um, then I let go to confirm that. Oh, yeah, like I said, there, there may be some times you actually screw this up, but yeah. So let's try that again. Whoops. Hang on, let's try that again. Control Z, uh, select Blender window, Control Z, and we'll delete, we'll delete the cube, capture screen, and we'll do a stop quick. Uh, whoops, uh, this will probably take a few minutes. Uh, you're probably, it's gonna take you a, a while to actually uh, get this right. But anyway, let's uh, do this real quick. There we go. That'll be fine. Why not? And then I'll now I'll click on the save as the one with the plus icon, and I'll save it. We'll save it as a PNG, and I don't know. We'll call this one Blender. Uh, I don't know. Let's let's try this one. Probably gonna take me a few minutes because I'm really, really, um, I'm really, really serious into uh, naming these files. But that's me. Uh, let's try uh, delete info bar. Anyway, now, like I said, it's probably not a bug, but. This isn't really meant to actually. This video isn't meant to actually show you what a good bug report is. This is just to pry, pry you as an example, so you can go out and report 
report better bugs than this one. So anyway, we name it and we'll hit save, and we'll we'll undo that and we'll probably take a screenshot of the queue being deleted. So uh, we'll select Blender window, hit delete, capture region, capture screen. That'll do for now. All right, we'll save it as PNG. We'll save it in here. And we'll call it, I don't know, and we'll name it, uh, how about, uh, uh, hmm, call it delete confirm 3D view, and we'll hit save, and so now what I'm going to do is I'm actually continue taking screenshots, and, and so I'm going to stop this recording, and I'm going to come right back to you when I'm done with my screenshots, okay? So hold on one sec. Okay, so I took all the screenshots that I needed, and basically I saved them into this folder, folder on my desktop right here, which includes some other files as well. But uh, I'll talk about these files uh, here in a sec. But for right now, these are all the screenshots that I have taken um, while the video was paused. Now, they I think I went a little too far, um, which is a little bit of warning. You should be a little careful about the about uh, when you're sending uh, the Blender Foundation. Uh, actually, the Blender developers uh, the information. Uh, actually, information about the bug. Um, sorry about my English, but um. Uh, but to me, I think uh, the more information you give them, uh, the more easier it is to actually see the problem, and the more simple it is for them to report the bug. Uh, but, but a uh, little bit of warning for you: when you are reporting bugs, try not to go too far um, when reporting all the information. Uh, I know I, th I think I kind of did, but yeah, sometimes you may want to go a little too far, but sometimes you probably won't. So that's just another warning when reporting bugs. Try and give them, try and give them a whole lot of information, but not that much of information. Okay. So anyway, I took all my screenshots. So yeah. Also, well, also I also took some screenshots. Uh, right, right here, and these are just the uh, basic screenshots that I will upload along with the Blender files that I will create. And I did that with a couple of versions of Blender myself, and. I think I screwed up on this one right here. Um, uh, hang on one, uh, hang on one sec. I think I screwed up right here because I don't really want to show the screenshot window. Uh, so hang on one sec, please. Okay, so I redid my screenshot right here. I think that'll be fine for now. So uh, yeah, so pretty much I have all the screenshots prepared. Now the next thing to do after I take the screenshots is I will create simple blend files um, for them for the developers to actually take a look at to yeah to pretty much take a look at it so it would be much easier to actually check out the bug because uh, one word of caution uh, when you're reporting bugs it's always it's a it's always important to make uh, to make the bug in blender easy to find when uh, someone uh, one of the blender developers actually takes a look into the bug because if it's not really that's uh, that symbol of the bug to actually find and uh, and um, pretty much you have to go through a thousand steps uh, it gets a little tricky for them so uh, if you can uh, like provide a simple blend file uh, a simple dot blend file that uh, has the bug for you like for example you perform one action, one action and then it crashes or in this case uh, I just uh, delete something and this thing pops up so yeah it's always important to actually provide uh, evidence to to show that it really, really is a bug. Although I'm not sure if it really is a bug, which is another tip. It probably won't be a bug. So yeah. So anyway, so anyway, um, it's always important to actually, like I said, provide some resources uh, to, for them to actually look at when they're trying to fix this bug. So let's create one. So what I essentially do first is I open up the like for example, the version of Blender or the build of Blender that has this bug. In this case, we're going to be using uh, 2.69.7 in this case, and I go to File, uh, Load Factory Settings to create a simple, the most simple Blend file as possible. I go 
first into edit mode, and then we'll hit subdivide a couple of times to show that uh, that it works in edit mode, but not in object mode. Then I'll go out of edit mode real quick, and I'll go out of edit mode, and what next? Okay, then I would actually do on the timeline to show that it actually works on the timeline. So, say for example, I can move my cursor along the timeline, and I add in a marker, I just hit M, and I can move this around someplace, and I could, and left click, and I can delete it by hitting X in this case, and just to let you know, it works right here in the timeline right here, again, and, hmm, then I would, pr then I would go into motion tracking, then I would load in the video clip that we just used before, There it is. I would load it into the movie clip. Oh, hang on. Escape. Then I would load it into the uh, uh, clip editor. Real quick. And then once it's done uh, being cached, in, cached into the RAM. And, oh, I forgot to set the uh, end frame. Hang on. I know the end frame. The this video is 193 frames in this case. And that'll be fine. So let's uh, so let's go back and see how it looks. Looks pretty fine. And uh, as soon as this done is being cached, uh, cached into the RAM, it'll uh, play back just nice. And um, and now at this point, we'll add in a marker, probably right here on this window. So I'll uh, go over here and uh, I'll hit. Then I'll hit uh, Control left click to place the marker I'll hit G to reposition it I'll hit I'll zoom out and I'll hit S to scale and if I want to I can uh, track it by clicking on this button and I can uh, preview how the track looks um, uh, sorry if the track is bad but it's not really supposed to be that good of a track in this case uh, anyway and I'll just leave it there uh, asking them to delete it which they can right here in this case they can delete it then I'll probably go into video editing and show that the uh, it works in um in the video sequence editor so for example I'll add in a scene right here so they can actually view um, it right here and I can even delete it with this notification pop-up okay so so far everything looks pretty much fine now what I also want to do is I want to provide some uh, uh, text field information uh, about the bug in this case. So what I'm going to use um, inside of Blender is the text editor inside of Blender. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to split the window right here and then I'm going to change one of those windows from 3D view to text editor. I'm going to go ahead and create a new text file. Uh, we'll enable these and we're going to call this one uh, I don't know. We'll call it uh, 3D uh, view and what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to uh, type out the steps right here in the text editor so I can tell them how to repeat the bug right here so let's uh, delete the toolbar for now and let's pull this out just a little bit and we'll hit tab and I'll basically type in the information so I'll just type in the information right now first I need to actually think of something uh, how about, okay, how about how to repeat the bug in the 3D view? And then I'll add this uh, colon and, oh, wait, I'll hit enter. Then I'll just uh, type in the steps to reproduce the bug. In the 3D view, which in this case is, uh, which is a uh, select the default cube, and then delete it with either the delete key or the X.
Okay, so I pretty much uh, added my text field right here in the 3D viewport right here. Now we're gonna, and I also added this um, this little this text right here, telling the viewer to switch from default to motion tracking, so they can t look at the bug in the motion tracker. So now we'll go ahead and switch the viewport from default to motion tracking, and we'll go ahead and uh, split this window, change it. And then we'll change it from movie clip editor to text editor. We'll click type, we'll click new, and we'll call this one motion tracking. Call this one motion tracking. Why not? Okay. Okay. We'll enable these and probably pull this window down and we'll we'll explain the bug so how to uh, how to repeat the bug in the movie clip editor Okay, so number one, delete the track marker in front of you by either pressing Okay, so we're pretty much um, <clears throat> done with this uh, text file um, in the motion tracking editor. So uh, now let's switch over to video editing, and we're going to also type in a text field for that. We'll go ahead and switch this window from graph editor to the text editor. Click on new, and we'll call this one BSE for video sequence editor. And we'll enable these, and we'll say... Um, I don't know. Uh, we'll add in something in a moment. Okay, so I typed in all my text fields in the text editor, which should explain all the information and all the steps on how to release the bug. I have one in the tech, uh, the video sequence editor, the motion tracking uh, um, layout, and the default layout. Uh, let's just see how they look. Yep, that looks fine. That looks fine. Okay. Whoops, not game logic. Uh, hang on one sec. I may have a. Let me just uh, center the 3D cursor again. Zero. Zero. And go back here. Okay, so we have our blend file. Dot blend file ready for the blend developers to look at. So we're gonna go ahead and hit save as. And we're going to save it on, into our desktop, and we're going to call it, um, Blender version 2, uh, version 2.69.7 for now. So we'll go ahead and hit save as Blender file, and you'll see that the file is saved right here on our desktop. So, what next? Well, at this point, we are now ready to create some more files um, to actually send to the Blender Foundation. Um, uh, so, uh, we're basically going to provide the files, which provide some files, which will provide more information about the bug, so that they can actually try know what they need to fix. And what um, I um, so the files that I I I have included are in the are in a file that I have made on my desktop right here and once again these are the screenshots and I also have a readme file which has some basic information about what the bug is, how to reproduce it, also explain my uh, 
system information right here. So in this case, I'm using Windows 7 64-bit with 4 gigabytes of RAM. I also included the versions uh, of Blender that include error. In this case, uh, ver the Builder Blend or Blender version 2.69.7 hashtag 41E70CF, and I have and I included that where the error is fixed. The official release Blender 2.69.0 R69995 and Blender Build Blender version 2.69.8 hashtag 7647A2B and so yeah that's what I prov provided I provided a readme file which I made myself in notepad and um, I also included a uh, the video clip that we uh, just um, that I included right here uh, that we uh, loaded into the movie clip editor uh, I try to compress it down just a little bit, uh, but yeah. So we pretty much have our files ready to go and ready to send off to uh, developer.blender.org. But uh, but there is one more thing that I recommend that you should uh, one more bit of information you should give to the developers to actually, to, when they actually are trying to fix this bug, and that is your system info. So um, basically. Um, how do you give out your system info? Well, you can do it this in Blender. So right now we're gonna load in uh, a new scene right here. Um, I actually let's load in the factory settings so you know, we can show you what this looks like at default. Okay, so you're probably wondering how do I give out my uh, system info in Blender? Well, to give up, to give to actually uh, get your system info, go up here to Help System Info. You'll see that this uh, info bar pops up saying system information generated in system info.txt. And if we switch the window from 3D view to text editor, and if we look in our text uh, um, files, you'll see that there's a file called system info.txt, which is a text file. And if we open that, uh, you can see that we have a text file which, which explains all of our information about our system, especially uh, the binary pass platform, and yep. So yeah, to me this is v one of the things that's very important when you're reporting bugs in Blender is to actually have information about your system info. So once you uh, had this loaded into the text editor, what you need to do now is go down to text, save as, and go ahead and save it, and go ahead and we'll go ahead and save it. So we'll actually call this one my system info uh, for right now. Let's see. Um, I don't know. Um, I've also provided same file. I I know that I probably went a little too far, but I actually provided some some of the same files, but uh, under blend uh, Blender 2.69 release and Blender 2.69.8 build and. Uh, you don't really have to go that far if you don't want to, but for me, it's best to provide as much information as you can. So for right now, we're going to save it as my my dash system dash info dash blender version two point six nine point seven dot text. We'll hit save as, and so if we now if we look into our folders right here, you can see that uh it is now saved as a Notepad text file right here. So, yeah. All right. By now, I assume that uh, you pretty much have all the files you need. Uh, whether it's screenshots, uh, notepad files, videos, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But there are a couple more things that I think are really, really important. Be very important to add. Uh, this one is minorly important, but I recommend that uh, you actually take a screenshot of uh, the splash screen, which will include uh, the image that is shown on the splash screen. The Blender version right here, and the hash and the uh, uh, the SVN number right here, which will tell you what kind of ver what version of Blender or what build of Blender you're using. Okay, and another thing that's very important to me when you're reporting bugs is to also have a folder with uh, some screenshots about your system info. So in this case, in this first system I took a screenshot that showed me um, 
basic information about my computer it sh and it tells me that I have a Windows 7 professional uh, processor Intel Core due to a CPU installed memory which is 4 gigs next one is basically my uh, device manager it shows that my computer where my computer is my display adapters my processors and all my system devices right here so that's another thing what I recommend that you add to your to the files that you're gonna send to the blended developer website now how do you get this info well if you're running on a Windows 7 all you do is you basically go down here to the start window right here right click on computer and then select properties this window then pops up and it tells you the basic information about your computer so in this case I'm running on Windows 7 and some other information like uh, your processor installed RAM system type 64 bit etc etc to display the device manager go up here to the device manager and this should pop up right here and it should tell you information about your computer your display adapters um, your processors and your system devices so these are all my system devices and this is what's in my device manager that's how you find all those okay so a, a quick one through about what you in, should include to the blender found uh, to the uh, blender developers first a couple of screenshots explain the steps about what you did to solve the bug um, next thing uh, um, basically the temp files whether it's a clip or I don't know an image include that um, your system info which you which you um, basically got inside the blender help menu a readme file which explains the information and also some dot blend files right here so uh, so they can actually um, take a look at it and test it out for themselves so now we pretty much have this file ready to go but uh just to be sure we're gonna actually make this folder just a little bit small smaller because the website, uh, the uploader of the site actually has a 2 megabyte limit and if we take a look at our properties it's f over 4 megabytes so we need to make this a little bit smaller so what we do is we right click on our interface and select new compressed zip folder and we're gonna call this one uh, blender underscore bug right here we're just gonna name this folder right here okay so uh, there we go and we're just gonna hit cut and we're gonna go here and select paste and that will compress all the files in there so now if we took a look take a look inside right here you could see that we have the files right here so yeah and hopefully that will get compressed down just a little bit now sometimes you may have to remove some stuff you probably won't but yeah but let's see for now hmm let's see uh, let's try uh, here okay that'll be fine now let's see the properties how big it is okay that's probably a little too big uh maybe it has to do with the video file hmm and the video file is a uh, It's over 2,000 gigabytes, which is over 2, two megabytes. So we may have to compress that down. So let's compress it down real quick. And, well, one way to actually compress it down is use a program called Virtual Dub uh, right here. Um, I'm good. You're, so if, if this file is a little too big, you're going to have to compress it down using something like Virtual Dub or something like that. So I'm going to press it down real quick and see if I can make it smaller. So hang on one sec. Okay, so I actually had to trim this video t t to about 81 frames because um, the file was just too big uh, for it to be, uh, be included in these files and it's too big to upload. 
because no matter how much I compressed the video file, I couldn't actually uh, uh, make it go under 2 megabytes. So I just trimmed the video file just so I can match the uh, um, the 2 megabyte limit. Because like I said, the, the developer.blender.org website only allows 2 megabyte uploads. Okay, so, but anyway, it's still, but to me, I think this will still, uh, work for, uh, uh, for them to look at, even, even though it's, uh, sorry about the, uh, size of the video, but, yeah, this is just an example, anyway. So, anyway, once you have all your files ready, you have the, uh, screenshots, so you have the dot .blend files, and the files right here, we are now ready to pretty much report the bug. So, how do we do that? <clears throat> Excuse me. So, to report bugs, you can either do one of two things. One, you can actually look for a bug tracker online, or you can actually have the uh, the Blender found the Blender the uh, Blender developers actually help you out. With and I really uh, I really agree. I would agree more to have the uh, have Blender developers actually fix the bug for you than to have a bug tracker actually uh, do it itself, pretty much. So, it's really important. I think uh, the second choice of reporting the bugs to the Blender developers is a better way. How do we do that? Well, we just go up here to help. On any, uh, on any version of Blender, go up here to help report a bug. Your default web browser then should open up to this page right here. And you'll come to a page where you can now report a bug. Um, before we start reporting a bug, uh, I would go back to the home page right here. And, well, first off, before you actually start reporting a bug, uh, or before you start doing anything on the site, you need to have an account right here. If you don't have an account, then you can't report the bug. I have an account, so I'm already logged in. So I'm now ready to report the bug. But before I actually, before you actually report the bug, it's always important to make sure that the same bug is not reported. So what you do right here is you go up to the search window and then search up, um, uh, delete maybe I don't know delete confirmation pop up uh, object mode and motion tracking and then search and if we just take a look at these um if we take a look uh at the search results um there should be um well these are pretty much all the bugs that have been reported so what you need to do is you basically need to go through and make sure that there is not the same bug already reported so if I go ahead and go to the next search results, uh, hmm, I'm probably not gonna go through all of this because I don't really want you. I really want to waste your time. So doesn't look like there's anything here. Uh, hmm. Okay. It looks like uh, there's there's um, the bug right here, so I can now just uh, report the bug myself. Okay, so I'm not going to go through the whole thing for this tutorial, but you basically go through and see if the bug has already been reported. So we'll go back to the home page and go to report a bug. Now, when you report a bug, there's always some guidelines. First off, you need to verify that it really, really is a bug. So, always test it with an official release from Blender.org. Uh, Blender and, um, if you, um, if you're working with builds or builds from the, uh, builder.blender.org, uh, include the full information from the splash screen. And it's always important that the bugs should always be repeatable. Because the more the bug it repeats, the more serious it is and the more important it should get fixed. And if you can, always test it on another computer as possible. And sometimes, and also another thing, the only reason why, like I said, sometimes the bug uh, is probably not a bug because sometimes driver or software upgrades cause problems. So try a previous release to work that to verify this. Okay, 
Another thing is that, uh, do not, I mean, don't report any future, feature requests, um, um, in the bug tracker, so don't do that. Uh, it's only meant for bugs. If you want to report feature requests, go click this link right here. And also, don't, and also, um, don't report anything that is on our to-do list. And also, uh, the bug should not be a build or compile issue. Ask on the Blender coder, coders or mail to the Blender Foundation committers. Because, and it also gives information why it's so real important to help the bugs. Because, because, and for that, and you need to, um, and they want you, and they want you to pretty much help out as much as you can to construct the case others can redo. And then, as as soon as you do near and half and report in the bug, they'll see what they can do to fix it. Okay, saying all this, uh, read through all this, and, yeah. So, what you do now, up here in title, what you need to do is you just basically need to explain what the bug is. So, in this case, we'll type in, I don't know, delete confirmation pop-up does not show when deleting an object in object mode or deleting a marker in the movie clip editor and um you try not to make the uh try not to make the title too um big um but it should basically give a quick summary about what the bug is uh if you want to you can actually type in the username of uh who you want to assign the bug to but yeah you're gonna have to do a little bit of research who are good uh, uh bug fixers now projects this is basically our tags for the bug and you wondering what are these tags are well they are found on this page so we'll go back to the uh, uh, the site and what these tags are are basically found in project and so these are um, so basically the projects are basically all these right here so we have add-ons animation audio etc etc there's text editor sequencer interface uh, blah 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 so basically what you need to do is you need to type in some projects that are related to the bug that you are confirming. So by default it's going to uh, put in bug fix blend, uh, BF Blender, which means bug fixes in Blender, but also add some more uh, project tags in here. So um, based on this bug, I'm thinking... Um, one of them is, uh, hmm, it's gonna take you a while, uh, mesh modeling, uh, probably user interface, I don't know. So let's type in user interface, and if I just type in you, you'll see that user interface is right here. So I click that, and probably also motion tracking, so I'll add that in, and confirm. So these are all the tags right here. And what we need to do now is basically now we need in the description right here you need uh, about you need to add your system information and what they want is your operating system and graphics card. So I'm not sure uh, what my graphics card is, uh, but I'm going to provide much as much information as I can about my system. So just to be sure, we'll go back to the start menu, right click, computer, properties. Have, and so I can have this up for resource. Okay, so anyway, so my operating system in this case, uh, uh, hang on. So my operating system is Windows, I mean, I mean, hang on. Okay, so I have a Windows 7 Professional and 
In this case, I have uh, uh, my processor, um, well, I'll get to that in a minute. And I have uh, four uh, gigabytes of RAM. Uh, operating system. <clears throat> eh. So I have 64 bit. 64 bit. Um, now just to be sure. Whoops, I accidentally. Uh, there we go. There we go. 64 bit. <laughs> We'll go to the device manager to get more information. I'll probably um, type in my uh, processors right here. So uh, I'll also add in my processors. So processors, uh, I have, let's see. Uh, I have two. It's I have two Intel Core two DO CPUs, so I'll add that in. Two Intel Core. Two duo C P U's. Uh, uh, P eight seven zero zero. At two point five three G eight gigahertz. Um, I'll even add my display adapters. Display adapter. I have a mobile Intel four series express. Chip set family, and I'm sorry this is starting to get a little boring, but this is um, kind of a uh, meant to actually. Sorry, it gets it's getting boring now, uh, but it's really meant to actually help you guys out. So now the Blender version, they want you to, to tell you what version uh, this bug occurs and which version it worked in. However, the work version is optional. So um. Basically, uh, it's basically from from the splash screen right here. Uh, basically, the the version of Blender that they want is the exact version from the splash screen. So I know it's uh, in version two point six nine point seven, but if we take a look in the splash screen, it's uh it's Blender two point version two point six nine point seven hashtag four one e seven zero c f. So I'll add that in. Um. So version so that bro it broke in it is broken in version 2.69.7 hash um for one e7 okay for one e7 and zero cf zero cf and now and it worked on the Blender 2.69 release. I'll take a look at the X splash screen. So it's 2.69.0 R60995. Uh, 
version 2.69.0 R60995. So hopefully I didn't screw up my time. And also it worked at the on the version 2.69.8 build that I got from a uh, the Blender build bot a uh, couple couple days ago and also version it's looking alright let's look in here so this is a uh, uh, version 2.69.8 uh, hashtag 7 six four seven so hash seven six four seven a two b okay now short description of error so so let's uh, type in the description for it so basically what happens is um uh trying to we can't um when I delete an object in object mode, um, object mode, uh, Object in object mode, the delete confirmation pop up doesn't appear um I'll add to or a marker in or a marker in the movie clip editor the lead confirmation pop-up doesn't appear um, instead and I info bar appears at the top right of the info bar saying that it has been deleted. However, When I delete a marker on the time in the timeline window. to see these edges bases e etc in edit mode on a mesh object and a strip video sequence editor the delete confirmation pop up does 
here asking me if I want to confirm my delete confirm my action. Okay, so we added a short description, uh, but one thing that I did forget uh, did forget to add in here is I want to add information about my system info for ver both of my version, uh, all my versions of Blender. So what I'm gonna do is right here in the system information, I'm gonna hit the Enter key and I'll type and I'll add in more information about my system are in these dot text files and I'll hit the enter key a couple times and this is where I want to upload uh, the text files right here so what I'm gonna do is on my desktop right here on my desktop uh, um, is I want to drag is I'm gonna drag um my sys these text files right here into the uploader right here and uh hang on uh oh I realized uh I'm thinking what it uh, is since this is extracted this photo needs to be extracted for anything to be needs to be uploaded. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to copy this and I'm going to paste it and I'll extract it. Extract all. There we go. And we'll go in here and we'll drag the files right here and place it right here. And this little bar right here will tell you that the file is uploading and it will and it'll, once it's finished uploading, it'll be shown as a little text format right here. But down here in the description, it actually appears as a download link for them to look at. And I, so I can do the same thing with uh, the other text files right here. Um, I'll drag one in here. There we go. Uh, more time. Whoops. Let's place this down. Uh, wait, where'd that go? Oh, there we go. Okay, delete that. Yes, and... Okay, wait a minute. I probably did that wrong. Let's see. Um... Back, there we go. Whoops, my bad. Uh... Cut. Paste, and we'll hit enter a couple times, and we'll insert the files again. There we go, and we'll, so there we go. So what I also want to do is I want to upload those screenshots right between the uh, broken and worked version. So I'll hit the, hit the enter key uh, a couple times once again. Then I'll go back here and I'll upload uh, and I'll drag the screenshots in here. Uh, okay, there we go. We'll drag that in here. And, when it's, and we'll let that upload. It'll take a little longer since... Uh, uh, since it's a little bit bigger than a text file, uh, okay, and hopefully this will get uploaded, and yep, there we go, and uh, we'll also do the same thing uh, with uh, this one, okay, there we go, 
and we'll also drag this one in here, hit upload, go to upload, Maybe I should try that again. Okay. Hmm. I thought I left it somewhere. Uh, okay. Let's see. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's drag. It. Let's try that again. And hopefully, it's almost done. I believe. Okay, and we'll also do the same thing with the other screenshot. We'll drag that in here and let that upload. There we go. Okay, now we're pretty much, we're almost done here. Now we just need to explain the steps of the bug. Now, uh, um, so... Um, here's a, uh, so we're going to go ahead and, uh, do that, but since this is ha this bug happened in the, uh, video, um, both in the, uh, the 3D view and, uh, the, uh, movie clip editor, we'll add the steps for both of those. So, uh, uh, we'll probably hit tab and, hang on, let's see, tab Go to two spaces and we'll type in the first one. Um, let's see, it's gonna take me a couple of minutes. So, in this case, there's one in a 3D view, there's the bug occurred in a 3D view. Um, so here we go. Let's see if we can type in something. I need to refresh my head a couple. Of, uh, okay, here we go. So, what we're gonna type in is in a default scene in Blender der, der, select the cube, cube in this case and then delete it the pop up the delete confirmation pop up should not appear if you are doing this in the Blender build, and we'll copy uh, the <coughs> uh, this right over here. Uh, it's having trouble selecting. We'll hit Control C and copy that back down here. Whoops, and. Hmm. We'll hit Control V, and any other version should this working instead. Now, now we're gonna try and do this. Now we're gonna do pretty much the same thing, but I'm gonna explain it 
uh, about the uh, in the movie clip editor. So in the movie clip editor load in a video slash movie clip into into the clip editor add in it would it either the delete key or the x key a marker with control left click Track it perhaps, then delete it with either the delete key or the X key. The delete comp. Information pop up could not appear being will you if you want. Confirm the deletion of the marker if you are doing this in the Blender build and we'll select this again. So control C will be the paste. Any other version of this turkey. I'll hit the enter key a couple times and then I'll put down Download the dot blend files and the other files that I've provided for you to check the bug out for Okay, now we're going to upload the blend files and the other, the zip files. So, once again, we do exactly the same thing. We um, drag our files into the uh, uploader and let that upload. We'll take a few minutes. There we go, and we'll do the same thing uh, with the other blend files. Uh, we'll do this one, let that upload.
we'll do it one more time with the last blender file. I mean, dot blend file. And there it is. Click up, we'll go to upload. And we'll let that upload. Okay, and lastly, the zip file. So hopefully I have everything. And we'll just be sure we'll no, just be sure we'll double check everything. And that looks fine. That looks fine. So I guess we're good to go. We'll go ahead and hit upload, and then oh. Okay, so I guess I went a little above the uh, the limit, I think. So hang on one sec. Okay, so for some reason, this suddenly got uploaded, uh, which is the zip files. Uh, but ah, I didn't see that there. Let's see. All right. Okay, never mind. All right. Sorry about that. Uh, apparently, this file has gotten uploaded, even though the uploader said it was 3.3 .3 megabytes, even though that the uploader has a 2 megabyte upload limit, as far as I'm aware of. But, yeah, uh, <laughs> apparently I didn't need to stop this recording at all. Eh, one of the odds. So, anyway, if, so to make sure... Now, it's always... Um, before you actually support this, make sure you check to make sure everything looks right. And it's also very important to check the description preview down here because this is what people are going to see um, when they actually take a look at this bug. So this looks fine here, it looks fine here. Eh, it'll do fine. Besides, this is just a tutorial video. Okay? So anyway, when you're ready, go ahead and click Report Bug. And then... It'll pop up here shortly, and there we go. You'll see that the bug has been reported, and yeah. So hopefully I didn't, hopefully I didn't screw up, and yeah. But uh, but yeah. Sorry if this isn't really. Uh, sorry if this isn't really a bug. I'm just trying to. I'm only reporting this to do a demonstration of a tutorial. It, this is not really meant to be a perfect bug, uh, but if it is a bug, great. If it's not, oh well. Uh, okay. So anyway, that's pretty much how you uh, report bugs in Blender. And, we, and, if, and by the way, if you report bugs, you pretty much help out the, uh, the Blender developers just by reporting bugs. And you also help the developers if you actually test and work with uh, current uh, uh, builds a blender that are already out if you want to download some of those builds go ahead and you can either do two things you can either go to builder.blender.org download latest builds and as soon as and and you'll see then just choose your operating system and just work with those uh, and just extract them and work with them or if you want to download some builds that are currently in progress uh, like, uh, uh, like, uh, ones that are, that involve, that show new features, or experiments, go to graphical.org, and go ahead and choose your operating system for the version of Blender that you want. So in this case, uh, I realize that a new build is, uh, well, in this case, a trunk has been out from Windows, so all I have to do is just click here, and it'll bring me to this page for me to download. So all I have to do is uh, hit download and just extract it and work with it. However, if you uh, quick tip, if you download any any uh, builds from this page, you're going to have to get 7-zip to extract the files. For example, like uh, the uh, zip archive programs or any default programs that allow you to unzip will probably not work, so you're going to have to get 
uh, 7-zip to actually extract these. So anyway, get 7-zip, download this, extract it, and work with them. And if you find any bugs, um, just report them to the Blender found, uh, to the developer.blender.org website. Uh, so anyway, before I go, it's always important uh, when you also when you're reporting bugs to be nice to the developers. Don't try and confuse them. Don't try and tell them to uh, do this, do that, and to actually get to the bug. Um, that's why it's important to actually provide them with some files and dot blend files so you can actually take a look and see what you mean about this bug. So. That's the thing. When you all when you report bugs, make sure you're nice to the developers and give a clear and proper description. And yeah, hopefully I wasn't so hopefully I wasn't too late to report this bug because later on we will have a uh, Blender 2.7, which is uh, the best, uh, which is the completely new release of Blender, and it should actually come out here very 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 shortly. So hopefully I'm not too late. Uh, Actually, let me double. Let me check. Let me see if uh, if it's out right now. Um, so if we go over here, and nope, it's not out yet. So I think I was in time. I think I was pretty much in time. So yeah. So that's pretty much our uh, tutorial on how to. So that's pretty much my tutorial on uh, reporting bugs in Blender. Thank you for watching, and I hope I will see you guys next time. See ya.